What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Another Dragon Ball uh, video. Uh, this one I actually got a hint of it on one of my previous videos by uh, Totally Not Mark. And this is by The Pinwheel and it's the Dragon Ball YouTube community is garbage. Okay, so he was talking about that and I got curious so I wanted to check it out and do a reaction to it. So let's check it out and go. So I thought I'd start a new video series today about specific parts of the okay, YouTube so that's community the pinwheel that guy. I wish would just die in a swamp fire. A better way to test this fire. out than to pick on something that I can't get Oddly on my specific. fucking recommended feed no matter how many times I tell YouTube oh, I'm not interested. The god-awful YouTube community behind Dragon Ball. I'm gonna preface this YouTube by saying community that I actually very anything, strongly guys. love Dragon Ball. It's a series that, as much as I hate this phrase, I can sort of just switch my brain off and let cool shit happen. Seeing yeah, new let cool forms, shit happen. Moves, characters week to week is basically what <laughs> no Roshi writing to you. And I could go on forever about how much I love and how near and dear to my heart Dragon Ball is, but... Do you want to know what I fucking hate, though? The shit stain known as the YouTube community around this show. <laughs> Holy fuck. I think every week when a new episode <sighs> comes out for Super, I can briefly feel flashes of the emotions every genocider in history has felt. Whew. Okay, there's a million places we can start, Genocider but let's start with history. the enormous amounts of clickbait videos with tens of hundreds of thousands of views. Yes, clickbait is a part of the internet, especially YouTube. Yeah. But in regards to anime on this site, I've never seen such a large amount of it. Thanks to the nature of the series really? as well, you get shit like this, and this, and this, all oh, over the yeah. place. yeah. Okay, I get it. Golly, G. Wilker, Super Saiyan Purple! 37 Kaioken times 4735 ultimate <laughs> final president of Kazakhstan yeah. 9 yeah, holy you know what? Yeah, episode what the fuck yeah okay no yeah, shit yeah okay you know I'm gonna agree with him on so this what's in the actual video itself then these videos are 10 minutes or more with some fake Dude. deviant art make a wish transformation yeah make a wish transformation with vague titles Seeing them in the related video section is kind of like seeing those weird rip-off consoles you find in dollar stores or pharmacies. The Wii Me, really PCP, PCP, ah, sure PCP. So what the hell are these videos actually about then? Our series, will this man, yes, I'm talking about this man from Dragon Ball Z, Cell, will he return and... Yeah, okay. So no. pretty much every one of these dumbass videos starts off with, Whoa, what's up guys, Final Kamehame Hillbilly here. And today I'm gonna piddle dick around with some vague, <laughs> really stupid theory based on cherry pick dialogue that fit with some fan art and a thumbnail and repeat myself four or five times to stretch the shit out so I can get more ad revenue. It's never anything of substance. Okay, I'm not never. gonna lie, Seriously, dude. Seriously, not even yeah, once have I managed to find something that was worth more than oh, a Oh, that was a gross ass thing, man. And There's a, a lot of hentai really suggestions you can put in that. With. The people who review every episode as they come out for like 15 to 20 minutes and say, That was awesome, dude! Did the part with fucking Goku's so cool! What's gonna happen next? I don't that's fucking why, know! Like <laughs> recap of episode These episodes take 20 minutes to watch! What the hell would I want to watch something that basically is like almost just as long that basically just says, Yeah, that was good. But I'm strength. That's why you review it and so you keep it shorter than that. And go back guys? to the dumb click Okay. Channels. As much as I hate these channels and wish the content creators would just, you know, lose access to their USB ports for a few weeks, I get that they've yeah. found a formula to get views. That's fine. I can understand and empathize with a get as many views as I can perspective. Some people make money off of this. There's a personal yeah. gain point to be made here. Having said that, who the fuck are you people who keep clicking on this dumb shit? You think after the fifth video with some people weird golden fursuit Goku fall for this tribal fursuit tattoos Goku. that the next video with fucking, I don't know, Frieza fisting his own ass with a cinder block in some new form, that's real too? <laughs> I don't get it. What? I get how clickbait works. I get it. But these videos somehow persist the test of time, and some brain dead dumpster lickers click every new one thinking, gee, that looks cool, despite each one doing <laughs> nothing new to convince them to keep clicking on these kinds of videos. Speaking of, some of these videos, the fans call out the very obvious clickbait in the comments section, and to nobody's surprise, the content creators give super fucking lame responses. But well, it, it turns out that the art in my thumbnail was fan made, and I'm kind of spreading misinformation here, but uh. I'm gonna keep the video up anyways, so like and subscribe! Ha! I didn't want to exactly, be one of those man. people who goes out of their way to poke bigger <laughs> channels than their own to look like I'm, you know, trying to stir shit for views. So I'm limiting myself to one actual vocal name drop to prove these instead of like 10 that I'd really like to dig into. When I was looking through <laughs> okay. channels to find low quality content, like I've been criticizing, there's one a friend of mine sent me that really stuck out to me called Unrelent Gaming. This is the same guy from the screenshot a second ago. This guy is like what I was making fun of the whole video, He's but got a good, fucking uh, roids. Pick for himself, when I found his channel, the guy had uploaded three videos on Dragon Ball the day prior mm. to me discovering him, and four videos the day of. Four videos in one day. These aren't like five minutes long either. 
The Damn. first five listed range from <clears throat> 13 to nearly 27 minutes. That is Shit. fucking bonkers. There are Let's Play That's channels longer than that a Dragon Ball content episode. a day, and all they do is sit around and play fucking video games. No editing <laughs> required. The guy sits down no, and there's as much of the garbage dude, I've talked separate. about at such a pace. I, I get like two hours possible. of gameplay, and I get and like 20 it minutes even of footage. It gets uh, a, a bit weirder, honestly. The guy has an OC, or original character, for those of you who are still pure of heart, named Rykon. Pure of heart. Burly. What I will say Son is, I find it kind of weird that this guy's really fallen in love with his own character. He's made videos on Rykon for over four years now. And I don't mean sparingly, either. Seriously? This guy pumps out videos all the time about this character. He has a series where he does what-if battles of Rykon versus the character? other characters throughout Dragon Ball's history. When Super Vegito go up against Super Saiyan 4, Rykon is practically slaughter against Vegito. Uh, the winner of this battle is clearly This is basically some weird circle jerk series where the guy decides to show that his made-up character is stronger than any other Dragon Ball character, and, you know, it's it's just kind of weird. But I wouldn't That's go through the point dumb. of digging through somebody's channel like this if I didn't feel like I had a point to make here, though. These channels okay. are garbage. They're like the ah! tabloids of Dragon Ball. The tabloids of Dragon Ball, there you go. Oh man, that was perfect, I love that. Speculation, or just a lot of repeating shit you've seen in the latest More episode. I'd forward. recommend something like Roshi. Masako X's channel if you're looking for some actual quality discussions, or if you're looking there you for go. the Dragon Ball I do Ball's like Masako summer, X's good, channel. As well as the Konzenshu website. But I don't really see much well. that I can actually react hey, to I'm there, kind of so I don't do any of these videos. I'm getting pretty far off track. Yeah, you hate clickbait videos and bad review channels, so fucking what, you might be saying. A one in analysis on the beam with it height stat, William. We'll that could take days to assess <laughs> both of their power levels if we come through the series. Have fucking time for this, William! Did you see this, for this, job? <laughs> this is the way they use the video. When it counts most. So ah! the math just doesn't add up. Every formula, every equation, the power levels just God don't make sense here. Fucking damn it! I don't fucking get it. Hundreds of people analyzing this, and we can't figure out what the fuck is going on in this scene. You think Krillin's as strong as Goku, huh? You think that's it? Look me in the fucking eyes and tell me that bald shit rat fuckface human is stronger than a Super Saiyan God! Fucking do it! <sighs> Sir, what, what if he's just, you know, holding back? I'll fucking blast your teeth out with a fucking shotgun! Dude, you that's son the of a fucking whore! The power show, levels man. don't make sense! The power levels don't make sense! The power levels don't make sense! Yeah, okay, I'm exaggerating a little, and this one's kind no, of No, you're not, dude. You seriously aren't exaggerating there. He's with not. consistency and power for a show does not exist on the level it does within the fan base of Dragon Ball. I don't exactly get why, but people seem fucking floored when something does not add up to be anything more than it made a cuisine, like, you know, look cooler or is more dramatic that way. I'm not saying there aren't some definite... Oh, yeah, like you said, does it series, look cool? But within the levels, people... There are no other steps. Too, you would think people were trying to decrypt, like, the Lord of the Rings lore or something like that. Um... Which I'll dig a bit more into later in this video. Yeah, that actually, like, um, dude, you're it's not. Like, if X beat Y and Y lost to Z, is X the equivalent of five Zs? Or if Z trains three years in the hyperbot? Yeah, yeah, okay, we get it. I, I know this yeah. is my opinion, but I feel like trying to boil down what is essentially what's going to make the story interesting to mathematical units is pretty stupid, honestly. Yeah. I understand there are some definite times. You can't do it. It can't be done. Consistency, like I said. But people really just don't want to accept that characters A don't always fight at full power in every scene, as well as B inconsistent power levels have kind of been a staple to the franchise at this point. Yeah. This leads into my third and final point of why I strongly dislike that specific community. They take the series more seriously than the series does itself. At its heart, Dragon Ball has been a lighthearted action comedy that like the people who get so pissed off they, they, they already said like oh yeah Frieza win already won the tournament of power episode hasn't even come out oh, yet oh shit that was so fucking cool moments the show itself clearly doesn't look that deeply at things it introduces and often forgets True. its own lore as it goes along looking yes at it does Supreme Kai fans really seem hell bent on thinking there's more to it than it really ever shows the series doesn't work when you look at it through the lens of it being some high fantasy, immensely well-developed world where absolutely anything can happen, and you can explain every character's actions in any given moment by analyzing their fictional psyche and thoughts oh, God, I remember that they part. might have had, but it's just pure speculation. Dragon Ball is a kid's show that even adults can enjoy. I'm sure a yeah, lot of you are taking with awesome that fights in it. That's what it is. Responses already. But I think that personally, even though that comes with some limitations, <laughs> and I have the it's press part of the charm of the show. <laughs> Anyways, I remember kind of, you know, doing too much nod bitching, so I'm going to pull this back in. Uh, this one's more of a dishonorable mention, because it's not really worth delving into as much, but hey, I really want to call out this video, even though there's not really much of a place for it. 
if you upload clips of the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super, literally minutes within it coming out, and you're putting a <laughs> spoiler in your thumbnail and three spoilers in your title, you're giving me fucking cancer. I can't go on YouTube for like there three hours of with it, like within the new episode coming out because it's just gonna spoil me immediately. Like I get they're racing to get the new views and shit, but like seriously, fucking, like just come on, dude. But hey, to wrap this all up, if you like the things that I said, I dislike here. All the more power Definitely to you. Not I'm not going to hate you if you disagree. <laughs> I just hope that you understand where I'm coming from with my hatred here. Uh, from what I see on YouTube. I get it. I, I get I, it. I really wish that the content for Dragon Ball, maybe not that it was better, but there was less, you know, like, tabloidy, like, clickbait shit on here, honestly. Um, yeah. But hey, this is my first time kind of well, doing Well, you got my this. channel. Um, I mean, I just react to Dragon series, Ball shit and just uh, give a recap for, on, a new channel on episodes and stuff like albums. that. You know, well, I've only done um, one recap, but I tend to do more. I, I want to... Do more videos where I bitch like this. Uh, you know, it, it can you be bitch like related, this, yeah. It can be anime related. Uh, if if you just have suggestions for things you want to hear me bitch about, uh, you know, leave them down in the comments. I'll try and uh, get to your. You suggestions. should bitch about the Goku um, you know, versus Superman debacle. If you like this video, uh, leave a fucking. Uh, I don't fucking. Give you got shit. the now. Now we got now. It's not just the Goku fanboys versus the Superman fanboys. <clears throat> it's also Goku, Superman, and Saitama fanboys all versus each other and. Uh, yeah, things things get pretty ugly. Things get like really ugly right there. Anyway, so yeah, I I kind of I agree with him on like every point. You know, I mean, jeez, people do take this shit way too seriously. Like, they, oh, the power levels don't make sense. And he says, oh, I'm I'm exaggerating a little. No, I'm dude. I hate to break it to you, but no, you're not exaggerating there. That's how people are. They get so damn insane. When it comes to, like, the power levels and shit. Oh, my God. I mean, people make videos bitching about it. They make comments. Huge pages of comments bitching about it. Oh, my God. I'm still getting flack because of that video I did on the Goku versus Sonic. And I said that it was dumb that Sonic could beat Goku. And I'm still getting shit about that. People still comment on that. And, like, people say, like, oh, you're so stupid. You don't know anything about Sonic. That's Sonic Ultra or some shit like that. Uh. I'm like, dude, calm down, okay? These are fictional characters, okay? You take this shit way too damn seriously. I just said it was dumb. It's stupid that they had Goku beat it. That they had a uh, Sonic lose to Sonic def beat Goku, you know? Oh, but Goku Sonic is universal level. This is Archie Sonic. I'm like, dude, you do that with any fan base. Like, some people take their fan bases and they just go. You can't even make a comment about their shit. Then they go fucking nuts. They, people just fucking explode. It's just, oh my god, it is. It is like, like in, even in the other video by uh, Totally Not Mark, he said, he said the comic section in, section in YouTube is cancer. Th this is like he said, this is a perfect example. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe this video, and don't forget to share it on social media. Hit that share button down there. Link to this original in the description. You can hear the whole thing he was saying without me talking and without my laughs or comments or whatever you like that. So, And definitely give the pinwheel a subscription. Uh, he's got mine. So I'll tell you that right now. Uh, I, like, I like his stuff. I like, the way he, I like the way he bitches about things. I like that. I do like it. I like people... I like uh, YouTube channels that bitch about stuff. And I like to uh, comment about their bitching. I like it. Anyway, so I'll see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Remember, uh, we're reaching the end of our Dragon Ball binge. So if you want to suggest Dragon Ball stuff, fine. If you want to suggest some other stuff, also fine. You know, I'm going to be getting to you guys all that good shit. All the the confinement episodes and everything else you guys have been wanting. And I'm going to get some more gameplays up on my game channel. Link to that in the description. So check that out. And don't forget to support me on Patreon, guys, please. You know, I need, I need money to eat. I need money to live. You know, don't make me bring out some bullshit sob story about my personal life. I try to keep my personal life out of my YouTube channel because I don't want to seem like I'm trying to garner sympathy. But if I need, if I get to that point, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it to uh, get try to get sympathy views or and sympathy money on my Patreon. So, and remember. You know, Patreon, it's not like you don't get nothing for Patreon. I'll do a video on something. You, I'm guaranteed to do it. I'm not always guaranteed to do it just because you suggest something. But I'll guarantee, if, you, if you're willing to pay on my Patreon, be a patron, and not only will I do something you want, I'll do something that I normally won't do. Like, if you want me to react to a video on YouTube, like, you know, somebody wanted me to do that uh, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. 
But if I get paid, I'll do it because I am a total whore. So, <laughs> on that note, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.